And, and and I can like I went through all the rookies of the year, and I'll give you an example. Um, let's see here. Is I, I'm checking real quick. You can go crazy. Okay, so that's one. Tina Charles is there. She was a unanimous rookie rookie of the year. There are only four unanimous rookies of the year, and I don't know how they determine this crap because it's almost like just bitter and petty, stupid nonsense. You know, one season, Neka Agumake is goes 14, seven and a half. She wins, and there's three people getting votes. Let me find this other one. I'm just going one by one. Elena Deladon, is she on the list? I think she's on she the is, list. She yeah, is, she's she number is. seven. She's seventh. Um, but that's where does the hell that list go? There, Brianna Stewart actually in 16 did not win unanimously. You want to know who got a vote? Don't, don't look. You know who got a vote? Do you have any idea? No, please. No. <laughs> it, it's a person that the Connecticut Sun traded for Marina Mabry. Banham? The other one. Oh, now you're asking too much out of me. Mariah Jefferson. <laughs> Mariah Jefferson, who was also Brianna Stewart's teammate at UConn, got a vote. Now, the numbers between these two, I wrote it down here. Gray Lynn Clark, Gray Lynn Clark, Gray Lynn Clark. Say so my Bri- name. Brianna Say Stewart. Name. Brianna Stewart in 18 in 16 averaged 18-3, 9.3 boards, 3.4 assists, 1.2 steals, 1.9 blocks, 45%, 45.7% shooting, 33.8% from three, 83.3 from the field. The team went from 10 and 24, added her and went 16 and 18. Mariah Jefferson. Average 13.9 points, 4.2 assists, 2.1 rebounds, 1.6 steals, 42.6% from the field, 37.5 from three, 77.5 from the from the free throw line. She played for the San Antonio Stars and they regressed the game from 8 and 26 to 7 and 27. And someone gave her a vote. That's it pretty- must have been the same buffoon <laughs> who just gave Angel Reese a vote. Right. That's pretty competent. How That's is pretty- this even remotely in the same category That's of crazy. calling people? How? That's crazy. Who do they who do they give these 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 these, these voting privileges to, folks? Because it is a privilege. It's a privilege That's to a privilege. vote for this. That's a privilege. Like, like that. In what world? I want to show you a funny one. You want to know one year, the the winner of the rookie of the year. She average. didn't deserve a vote, Darnell. You're right. She the in in a vacuum, she had a good year for a rookie. I'm not going to sit here and she say did. for a rookie it wasn't. A, but we're talking about actual awards. <laughs> we're talking about hardware you put on your mantle place. We're talking about things you earn. She didn't earn a vote. She was good. But just because you're good doesn't mean I need to ignore what's going on right in front of me. In 2022, you want to know who won the rookie of the year? I won't make you. Michaela Onion Wary. She onion got forty seven. You got to roll, roll that last. Onion wedi is like that. Onion, onion wedi. Onion yeah. wedi. She yeah. got forty seven of the forty nine votes. She <laughs> had... <laughs> what did I miss? The comment? No, I'm laughing because I'm just getting ready for her stats. I already know I'm going to start laughing. I'm just. Do you know what they are? I have no idea, folks. You want to know what she averaged points per game to get forty seven of the forty nine votes over Ari McDonald and Dee Dee Richards? Tell me. 8.6 points per game. Oh, goodness gracious. 2.9 2, 2. rebounds, 0. Oh 0.6 assists, 0. 0.4 steals, 0. 0.3 blocks. She shot 40.1% from the field, 32.7% from three. Wow. The runner-up with one vote got average six Holy points. shit. 479 people in here. So oh, yeah, to no, everybody in the chat. Thank you. Holy this is awesome. crap. Um, Holy I crap. thank you all for jumping up. West Coast. Jeez, Louise. Dwayne salute, Wade, yeah, salute, yeah, salute. Dwayne Wade, yeah. I, I, I kind of wow. Like, oh, I, don't say that, Duke. That's not. I don't want to. I don't wish that on anybody, Duke. Come on, man. Uh, Ari McDonald, who came in second, averaged six point three points, one point six boards, two assists, zero point eight steals, zero point two blocks, thirty two point two percent shooting from the field. Wow, my told is not even thirty point eight from three. <laughs> Dee Dee Richards who had one vote. She averaged two point three points per game. One point one rebounds. Zero point eight assists. Zero point five steals. Two point two forty. Bleep. They gave a vote to someone who had two points per game. <laughs> This is the voting oh, in the WNBA. 
at the end. <laughs> Who are these mongoloids? <laughs> If you haven't hit the like bucket button yet, please Dude. pound that like button. Dude, but what? this was a can you? I would have done away with the award that oh, year. Oh, there would have been no yeah. rookie. Don't even give year. it out. Don't even give it out. Skip There's it. No <laughs> rookie. Of the year. Skip it. Can Skip you imagine? Can you imagine if the NBA gave a player who averaged two point three oh. points per game a oh, first man. place vote for rookie of the year? Holy crap! Holy crap, that's hysterical. That is absolutely hysterical. It was just, Rawhide, it was just to show Ooh. that how Ooh, absolutely shit. insane this crap is. That is so funny. I, I mean, look at oh. this. They gave someone named, do you even know who Shakira Austin is? David, Shakira, Shakira. He finished second in rookie of the year voting behind Ryan Howard. Ryan Howard averaged 16, and a half, 16 points, four and a half boards, 2.8 assists. And Shakira Austin got two votes, averaging 8.7 points and 6.4 rebounds. And third that year, getting one vote, was the one, the only amazing defensive player. I have no left hand. Alexa. Melissa Smith. Oh, no, Melissa. They're the same draft. Melissa and Lexi are the same. But this just shows the participation trophiness of the WNBA. That's, that's what this is right here. This shows the – because from what you've just laid out to me, folks, this all ties in. We went a little off, but this all ties in to the delusion of these voters. The Caitlin Clark should have been unanimous, but it seems like every rookie before her should have been unanimous based on how trash these players are coming into the league. If someone's averaging 16, someone gets a vote for 8. Someone's averaging 15, someone gets a vote for 2 points. This is a WNBA problem. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Look, there was a few where they should have been, like, close. And I'll give you one. The one where Kennedy Carter didn't get named Rookie of the Year. That was a one that reasonably she could have won She could have won Rookie of the Year. She actually finished second with two votes against Crystal Dangerfield, who averaged 16 a game, and Carter averaged 17 for a game, shot a higher percentage from the field. Their numbers are almost the same. And she gets two votes. And Dangerfield gets 44. And in third is Satu Sabali, who averaged 14 and 8. And this was in 20, 2020. And it was a shortened season, I'm going to presume, because of COVID or whatever, I'm guessing. But that's a – I want to know how the hell you have a gap like that for that. Because this is – I mean, Crystal Dangerfield, 16.2. Kennedy Carter, 25, 17.4. 2.3 rebounds to 2.0 rebounds, 3.4 assists to 3.6, 0 0.9 steals, 0 0.9 steals, 0 0.3 blocks, Kennedy, 0, 0.0 danger field, 47.3 from the field to 47.1 in Kennedy's favor. Like that, how do you have a gap like that? Hate. I, I, I mean, Kennedy Carter got screwed in that regard. I'm not saying she should have won it because I have no oh, idea. Cause she, she cooked, cause she cooked the Olympic team when she was in, at A and M. She cooked their boots and they held it against her since. That's why she's two pieces of people up in the locker room. Two piece, three pieces in the soda. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Salute to everybody in the chat. Salute to oh. everybody. That's exactly why. Oh, no, Bill Burr said that COVID didn't. No, it didn't affect the NBA because nobody WNBA because nobody was watching to begin with. <laughs> yeah, they went to play it in front of zero people to play in front of zero people. <laughs>